Hey guys, so I wanted to take a minute to tell you about this little gadget here, which is a uh, an LED light bulb that I built that fits in a standard 120 volt light bulb socket that you'll find here in the United States. Um, so this is a really simple design. It's basically just two diodes, six resistors, and 12 LEDs. Uh, the way it works is since you have alternating current coming in, uh, it takes advantage of both the both sides of the wave. Um, with each of these diodes, there's no need for a transformer because uh, it just takes the incoming AC and turns it directly into DC, uh, drops down the current with these resistors, and runs these LEDs at about 50 volts with very very low current, so they uh, they appear as normal. Um, so the cool thing about this uh, is, or this specific design, is when the, since it's alternating current and each side of the design operates on one side of the wave, the the lights actually flicker on and off each side about 30 times a second. Uh, if you're on 60 hertz AC like we are here in the U.S., uh, so it's n not very perceptible. You can notice a slight flicker if you not if you look directly at the light when it's on, but uh, for the most part, it's not noticeable, and it just looks like they're both steady on all the time. <clears throat> so this little device cost about seven dollars to make, um, just for the the LEDs, diodes, and all the components, plus this breadboard, or not breadboard, a um, perf board from Radio Shack. And the, uh, the light bulb base I actually got from an incandescent bulb. I just smashed the bulb, removed the filament, and then I got here these two, uh, two leads and a working light bulb base to play with. So that's how I built it, and it took all of an afternoon, and now I'm going to show you how it works. So here I've got the, uh, the LED light in my little lamp stand here and as you can see it's being powered by a regular old AC from the wall. Uh, it's not particularly bright and I'm I mean I'm in a well lit room anyway so you can't really see how much light it puts off. Um, but it's not a whole lot. It's enough to be uh, a pretty bright night light or like something to light up a relatively dark area. And uh, so to demonstrate this uh, this flickering effect that I was talking about earlier, you can't really see it when the camera's up close, but if I back up a little bit, you should. Okay, so here you can see the flickering effect uh, that I was talking about earlier. Now, it doesn't actually look like this in person. Uh, the reason you can see this is because the refresh rate of the camera and the rate at which those are flickering on and off is just barely out of sync enough that um, it causes this kind of effect where you can slowly see them coming on and off even though they're actually flickering very quickly. It's kind of like uh, if you look at a CRT monitor with a camera you'll see the scan lines uh, or if you look at a like a tire that's rotating very quickly, you the spokes might appear stationary even though you know that they're moving very quickly. Um, so this is a cool effect to be able to see what the LEDs are actually doing. You probably noticed that the, uh, the perf board is slightly browned near the resistors uh, and this is because they are dropping quite a bit of current and they get rather hot uh, it's not hot enough to cause a fire. This is actually, actually after about seven months of use, so it took it a while to get this brown even. Um, but these resistors definitely get hot enough that you don't want to touch them. They're one watt resistors, and they're not even close to their full dissipation. As you can see, that it's not the resistors becoming brown, it's the area around them. Uh, but they do put off a fair amount of heat. <laughs> 